Welcome to the Chad Marketing Podcast, your number one place to learn actionable strategies and tips that help you have more profitable conversations with your customers. This podcast is here to help you grow your business by better understanding your customers, speak to them on another level, and grasp the opportunities that lie in the chat marketing industry. And now, let's get chatting with your host, live from Melbourne, Australia, successful chat marketer and entrepreneur, Dan Pinney. Hello and welcome to episode two of the Chat Marketing Podcast. It is great to have your company today. Now, building your own chatbot, particularly when you're starting out, can be quite complicated. But today's guest is one of the leaders in the industry that is making it easier for each and every one of us. Kelly Noble Mirabella is an international speaker and one of the trailblazing chat marketing educators. She has a ton of experience and today we delve into that to chat about how she helps provide solutions for businesses and what's next on the horizon for chat marketing. I think you're really going to get a lot of value out of this episode and it's one of those ones you need to stop and start to make the most of it. So here's today's chat with Kelly Noble Mirabella of Stella 24-7 Mark. All right, welcome to the next episode of the Chat Marketing Podcast and my next guest I'm super excited to have on the show because she has an amazing ability to combine two of my favourite things, chatbots and 80s music. I, of course, talk of Kelly Noble Mirabella. Welcome to the Chat Marketing Podcast. Thank you so much for having me. I'm pumped. I'm pumped to hear you like the 80s vibes. Yeah, yeah. Pleasure. We'll jump into, I'm sure we'll we'll cover that throughout today's interview. But firstly, tell us a little bit about your background um, and how you got into this space. Uh, So I am a digital marketer by trade. I've been in the social media marketing space for 14 years. I own my own uh, digital marketing company, Stellar Media Marketing, for 10 years now. Actually, 10 and a half. I guess the year is just flying Mm, by. And I've been doing chat marketing. I have no idea how long. Let's see, like five, four years? What year is it? What's going on? Where are we? What's happening? (laughs) Um, I want to say just over four years I've been really into the chat marketing space. So in terms of how I got into it, it's kind of an interesting story because I am a digital marketer because I was doing social media marketing for so long. You know, I'm addicted to Facebook, Avi. And I'm cruising down through Facebook and I saw an ad. This is like five, six years ago before ManyChat even existed. I saw an ad for a company. I want to say it was Message Hero, which is no longer around. I think they just closed down this year. And it was an ad that said, comment below and we will send you a message and i was like there's no way this doesn't exist i don't know what you talk about (laughs) but i want to see it so i commented sent me a message and my mind was blown the simple thing those of you in the chat marketing space today we know this as the comment growth tool but back then there was nothing like this and i was like this is the coolest thing ever so of course went and bought like the lifetime plan which Obviously, their life did not last as long as mine, but whatever. Um, (laughs) And I started using it. And unfortunately, this was about six years ago. It just didn't take. You know, people were like, whoa, what is this? It was very like invasive feeling because there was no education around it. So I kind of backburnered it for a couple of years. And then ManyChat came along and I signed up with them and I didn't do anything with it. And then one day I thought, I'll just jump in here and see what this is all about. And I fell in love and I was like obsessed and I wanted to learn everything I could about ManyChat and how I could use this tool because obviously it wasn't just this comment growth tool, it was so much more. So I went where everyone goes to learn, right? We go to YouTube and there was nothing there. (laughs) I mean, what was there was bad y'all. I mean, it was like really, you could tell these were some really techie people, which is fine. They get it, techie people get it. But for someone who's just learning, I don't do coding, I don't, speak tech. I was like, I don't, it was like getting a headache. I I just, I couldn't wrap my mind around what was going on. So it was really hard to learn. And then you'd get like 10 minutes into a video and they'd make a mess up and they'd be like, Oh, everything I just taught you for the last 10 minutes is wrong. Let's start over. I'm like, you, you know, you can edit this out. (laughs) So I thought, you know, I could do better. I'm not saying I'm like a chat marketing expert. I'm still trying to learn, but as I learn, I'm going to go and I'm going to create videos and I'm going to teach other people. Cause as a digital marketer, I also had a really long background of course creation and education around like Facebook live and social media. So I was like, I could apply what I know about teaching and teach as I go. So I did. And I created the baby got bought channel 
and that's where it is today. So <laughs> that's the long and the short of it. <laughs> I love that. And uh, and so you just decided I'm going to make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more entertaining. And so you're all and about... edit it much better. <laughs> yeah, and edit it much better. <laughs> like I'm not if there's not a lot of ums. You'll notice if you watch my videos, it's very rare that you'll unless I'm just tired of editing, you won't hear ums. I don't take a lot of breath because I cut every. I'm like really tight with my editing because I just couldn't stand you know when you watch a YouTube video like get to the point I want to yeah. get to the point and why the uh the 80s theme what what I just really loved go? it I love the <laughs> 80s you know I'm like a big fan I was born in 1981 so I just nice. dated myself but um <laughs> I love the 80s I love like early 90s hip-hop and stuff and you can catch that vibe as well so I just thought it was a fun I like to have a lot of fun with my my brand, I guess. And my traditional brand of stellar media marketing is a little bit more button up. And I was like, I want to do this different. I, and because it's based on YouTube, I knew it had to be so different than everybody else. And if you watch my earlier, really embarrassing videos, <laughs> I was like dressed to the nines, eighties. I had like the eighties eyeshadow and big hair and I had like the glove and everything. I don't do that anymore, but, um, I, I went I all we in on it. And back. I, like I that. should like, we should do like some throwbacks or yeah. something. It's just a lot of work to do my hair yeah. every time. Like <laughs> <I bet>. <laughs> <laughs> it worked because it was so different. And people just seem to like it. And I, I was having a lot of fun with it. So that's kind of where the 80s thing came from. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't love the 80s? Yeah, it's, it's like very it true. It brings people together. Well, uh, credit to you because I, I know building chatbots myself and when you are searching for help, your videos now rank incredibly high. So I rank higher than many chat for many chat. Yeah. I've been told. <laughs> yeah. And you've done a lot of videos. You've, you've done a lot of tutorials out there. Yeah. I think I have almost, I'm just shy of 200 uh, videos on the topic of many chat. Wow. And, um, and now you're, you've also, um, and people might recognize not only your voice, but uh, would recognize your name and maybe your face from many chats, original course as well. But you've now gone and revamped that to your own and updated that as well, right? Well, so I have my course, the Baby Got Bought Beginners course, which I built before I did the course for many chat, which is a lot more advanced. We did that last summer. I have my course I did the, the year before, released that. And then I met with, um, at the time it was Sid, who was the director of marketing at ManyChat at Social Media Marketing World. This was back in 2018. I want to say, no, 2019, because yeah. this was like last year. It's amazing how fast that that course like dated. <laughs> and I was like, you, they had a course. It was 13 hours long. And I was like, it's out of date. It's too long. I want to do it. Let me do it for you. I'm the girl. This was made for me. And he was like, yeah, totally. So, and he really, him and I had a very uh, similar vision in terms of instead of making them really long, you know, I do, I'm known for like five minute videos. Even in my course, I break it down into short videos and then you kind of bring it all together. So it's like, I give you all the ingredients and then you make the pie. And and he really liked that. So um, they contracted me to do their course, which we released last September. It's already out of date. <laughs> and I keep asking, I'm like, we have to redo that course. It's, it's so out of date. People are getting really frustrated because they updated the platform and they don't want to update the new, the course until the end of the year because they're going to do more updates so i was like i'm just going to update my course i'm going to i'm also going to do like a free course like i just just decided to do my own thing again so that's where my i have a course that's paid and then i also have a course that's free that's kind of like the many chats free course except updated okay great we'll put links to those in the show notes and you speak about how uh quickly the, the courses can get out of date yes it just moves so, so quickly fast. right mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they get out of date so fast. And it's funny because I was talking to somebody about this the other day. Like when I started in chat marketing, imagine like my story, right? I, I come across this comic growth tool. Like that's all it was back then. <laughs> and even when I started using ManyChat, we didn't have the visual builder. We didn't have all these growth tools. Like there were no tags and stuff. It was so basic. And now it's almost like I, my heart goes out to people who are just getting into it because it can be very overwhelming because there's just many chat has developed such an amazing platform. It has so many features, but if you're new, you're like, Whoa, like it's very overwhelming and it can be even made even more overwhelming by the constant updates. And it's very hard to find like tutorials and courses that are up to date. So I know that's been a challenge, not only from 
a learning perspective, but as an educator, and I know a lot of the educators in our space is really struggling with keeping up and, and consistently having everything updated. And talking about chat marketing and going back to uh, you've got your other agency as well. Why why chat marketing over other mediums? Like, why do you love it compared to other type of marketing tools and tactics and strategies? Um, I love it because it's more fun. It's more personable. I know people think of chat marketing, especially outsiders, they think of chat marketing and they think like it's cold and automated and it takes the human touch out. But for me, as someone who does social media for so long, I can attest to the fact that chat marketing is can be more fun, more engaging, more personalized. Like it brings more of that human touch, even with the automations. It's, it's just, it creates like this engagement factor that you, it brings social media to life in a sense. And I really love that aspect of it. And the data, the data backs it up. Like, you know, there's more active users of a uh, messenger apps and, and text apps and stuff than there are social media users. So here I am doing social media all these years. Like, obviously it's the right move to follow the d data, follow the people. And if there's more people using these chat apps, if you will, then social media apps, like that's obviously the next direction and that's the future. So I followed the future. Yeah, that's where people are paying their attention. And so you build bots for people as well and for clients I do. as well. And what sort of, tell us a bit about the sort of bots you build in and, and how you sort of work with clients to bring them to life. Sure. Well, you know, being that I've been in digital marketing for so long, I kind of, and I literally was just talking to a guy that I'm possibly going to be doing some work for, um, potential client. And I said the same thing to him. I'm like, you know, you've been doing it for so long. You realize don't, don't just put yourself in a box. So I tell people like, what do you need? I can make it work for you. Do you need education? I got you. Do you need consulting? Yep. I do that too. I do one-on-one -on -one training. I build stuff. I sell templates if you need it, you know? So I have a, a really a large myriad, if you will, of, of different services, but in terms of like how I generally am helping my clients, education obviously is very strong. I have programs. I'm actually going to be relaunching a mastermind program at the end of the year. I usually at the end of the year, I do more of a premium program for agencies and stuff, but I have like my courses and consulting, but in terms of builds, I work a lot with people who have like Facebook lives and they want to, like coaches and people with shows. And I've worked a lot with larger companies, like the C-suite kind of larger companies. Um, I don't usually work in the capacity of me building for them with small business. Usually it's larger, medium to larger size companies and corporations that are having me come in and build for them. The smaller people, smaller um, solopreneurs, they're usually going on more of the education route. And how do you, uh, I think a lot of people when, whether they're doing it for their own business or they're doing it for another business, some of the challenges they face in trying to convince the people as to what this is, how the hell it works, mm -hmm. how the hell it's actually going to move the needle on my business. Business. How do you overcome those those roadblocks and the barriers that people can put up? Uh, number one problem I see agencies and, and bot builders making when they're trying to sell a chatbot is they're trying to sell a chatbot. Don't try to sell a chatbot. Try to sell a solution. I have two types of clients. Most of my clients know what a chatbot is and they want me to do it for them. So because, and I have the benefit of having a lot of educational content. So that brings in a certain type of client for me. They're already well-versed in what it is. So I don't have to educate people there. If the, you know, for the second type, you have the companies that you might go after. Like I, because I do social media marketing, I'll get on a phone with one of those leads and they'll be like, this is what I need. You know, I'm trying to discover their needs and I'm hearing their problems and I'm thinking there's a bot for that. Mm. So when I come to them and I say, you know, here's your proposal, here's what I'm thinking. Um, I'm going to send you your, your price ranges and packages, but I really want you to consider this solution of chat marketing. And here's why, like, let's talk, you mentioned, you know, you need X, Y, and Z. And uh, although I would love to do your social media, and I think that's part of this package, um, the chat marketing can actually bring you real leads or, you know, we could qualify people. Cause I get a lot of uh, clients in the social media side. Who's like, I want lead. Well, yeah, like social media is great for a lot of branding. It can bring in leads, but usually you're paying for like a lot of ads. And even then you have to do like landing pages. And honestly, like a chatbot could be better, especially when you're connecting it to organic campaigns. So, um, I'm selling those people based off of what I hear them saying is their problem. I'm not selling it just because I think, oh, chatbots are cool. 
uh, if I don't think the chatbot can specifically solve the problem, I am not pitching the chatbot. Mm -hmm. And that's the benefit of having an agency that offers various types of services. And I think a lot of these most successful agencies in our space that you'll find also do something else. So like a lot of people are doing like Facebook ads. And so people will come to them saying, oh, I need help with Facebook ads. And they're like, great. We're going to put together your Facebook ads. We'll also throw in some chatbot ads, which are going to, and this is why, and, and there are people are like gung ho, like, yeah, obviously you're the expert on ads and this is a new kind of ad, you know? So if you are out there as an agency and all you do is chatbots, it is harder for sure. Yeah. Unless you have a very specific niche, right? There are people out there who are like dominating the restaurant industry, you know, and that's super cool to see too. Hey, it's Dan, and I just quickly wanted to make sure that you don't miss out on attending ManyChat's official conference, Conversations 2020. This conference is a completely virtual event held on November 6 to 8, and it features presentations from the world's leading entrepreneurs and chat marketing specialists, including some of the guests you'll hear on this podcast, but also some others like Damon John of Shark Tank fame, Neil Patel, Molly Pittman, Ryan Dice, Jasmine Starr, and the CEO of ManyChat, Mike Yan himself. Now, I've got the inside word on this conference that there will be five times the amount of attendees in past years. Thank you, COVID. But the technology that sits behind it will still ensure that you get some of the best parts of attending a conference in person. And as a listener of the Chat Marketing Podcast, I've got you covered with 10% off your ticket. Just head to conversationsconference.com and enter the code CHATPOD. That's conversationsconference.com and enter the code C-H-A-T-P-O-D. Don't miss out on this awesome opportunity to be part of one of the best communities on the planet. I'll be there, so come say hi. All right, let's get back to our interview. And what are the, for people starting out, let's say for their own business, um, and you've got a number of your courses, where do you start in your course? Can you give us an insight into how you introduce chatbots and what are some of the challenges that you, you try to overcome in those first initial stages? Sure. So my, I have the two courses. The first one is the free foundations course, which is like, I am a complete novice. I maybe heard about it or I watched you do, you know, so a live or went, maybe they get, went to conversations and then they're like, now what? Mm. <laughs> like, okay, I signed up for many chat. I don't know what the heck. I don't even know how to connect it to my page. So that will take you from what is a chat bot? Why should you use a chatbot? You know, a couple case I study ideas, and then it's going to go. Here's how you connect it. Here's all your settings. Here are the first three things you have to do: main menu, uh, welcome message. You know, those sort of things, and just gets you to the basics. And that's all free. My beginners course goes through all that as well. But then I really the beginners course is like I'm probably one of the most affordable beginners courses out there that aren't free or on like whatever that what is it Udemy or whatever I don't oh, yeah. I don't do the Udemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, and that's because it's it's literally I'm not teaching you how to build an agency. I'm teaching you how to use ManyChat. So the the purpose of these course these two beginners courses are to get you so comfortable with many chat that you know how to use everything. And then there's also a section in my beginner's course. It's like, how do I apply this? Cause I really, and I've told my students in my Facebook group before, like the people ask me, why do you just do like one little offs on your YouTube channel? Why do you just teach one thing? Why don't you teach a whole build? And like, because that one thing can be applied to so many scenarios, like a condition. What is a condition? How do you use a condition? If I taught it in the realm of, how, you know, I'm going to teach you how to build a business card, which I've done in a video like that, and people love that, but it has a condition in it. Then they get trapped with the idea of, oh, I can just use the condition for this. I'm giving you the ingredients. You go bake the cake. Now, other courses, and certainly um, my advanced, you know, masterminds do this. Then we take the ingredients that you're learning in the basic courses. And now I'm going to start showing you some ideas and how we can apply it and how we're going to talk through what is it you do? Who do you want to work with? And here's how you can use these different pieces and parts. But my beginner's course is definitely focused more on like the ingredients. You mentioned earlier around how many chat are reluctant to update their course because it's counting not to the be, end of the year, yeah. not to the end of the year. So what can you see on the horizon in the chat marketing space? Uh, so ManyChat does not like to share with anybody what's coming down the pipeline. No. Like they didn't even tell me they were updating the whole course until like, or the whole uh, dashboard until like the day before, which is fun. Um, <laughs> so they haven't told us a lot. Now, if I had to guess, I definitely think that there's gonna be a lot more integrations, a lot more native integrations. Um, now there's been a lot more of Facebook and Instagram meshing together, you know, melding together. And with that, we're definitely going to see 
um, ManyChat, as soon as they open that API, jump into that space as well. And I also believe that ManyChat is looking at other platforms like um, other chat platforms that, that you can build on. So definitely more options are on the horizon. And they've also been making a lot more advancements in listening to what their audience wants, which is why they created the feedback channels and yeah. you can vote those up. I know that they are in talks with um, a company to do deep linking, which is something I've asked them for for quite some time. So definitely a lot more streamlined um add-ins i think that are going to really make it a very robust platform that is going to be like that power tool of digital marketers in essence well so you've got the platform and then you've got the whole industry and and the tactic itself so where do you think chat marketing just overall as how how it will play its role in businesses going going forward where do you see that in the next you know 12 24 five years you've been around for 10 years where can I you know. see <laughs> 10 years i couldn't tell you because yeah. seriously like a year from now it's going to be so different i do think that we are going to see an adaption at a lot larger and higher speed in the past five years that i've been around the industry it's been from like i said like people were so turned off by it to where we are now where it's more acceptable people understand what it is um, and it's become more mainstream. And now that that's happened, it's going to be a, a lot faster adaption. And so we're going to be able to do a lot more with it. But um, obviously with Facebook, there's always going to be those restrictions. So marketers are going to have to get creative. But ManyChat, because of those restrictions, has, you know, like I said, they're adapting these new things. So I think what we're going to see is an omni channel sort of situation. We have people on one platform, we're going to get them on another platform that maybe we own or we're gonna connect them to all these dots. But for the end user, it feels like one streamlined thing. Whereas as marketers on the back end, we know that they're hopping from here to here to here. So I think it's gonna become more streamlined, more um, acceptable. And I think it's actually gonna be a benefit to the end user, the consumer, and for the business because it's going to simplify various processes whether it's i'm buying something i'm investing i'm scheduling something whatever that looks like it's going to become one seamless thing and every everything's just going to become connected it's an interesting future and in how marketers get their head around that because for so long so many different areas have been siloed from email mm -hmm. marketing and then you've got social media marketing and you've got your ads and you've got your chatbots, whereas now it's amalgamating oh a lot of them, right? Yep. So that's It's like the its difference between puzzle pieces. You know, you look, I look at, we're in multi-channel right now. You're going to hear a lot of people talk multi-channel over the next year, uh, including Mike Yan. He, he talked about it last year in uh, a conversation. He'll talk about it again this year. Hmm. Multi-channel is where people are at right now. They think that that's Omni, but that's not Omni. Multi-channel is like you have all the puzzle pieces, right? I have this piece, like you said, I've got my email over here, my ads over here, you know, I've got all the puzzle pieces. Omnichannel is taking all the puzzle pieces and actually creating the puzzle, putting everything together. And that's the difference. Yeah. And that's an exciting future for a lot of people out there. If they can yeah. get their head around and grasp it and the results that it can bring for businesses. You've spoken a, a lot about your experience and, and how you've evolved into the chat marketing space. Where do you think you'd be without if chatbots weren't a thing? Oh man, who knows? I probably would be more into like live streaming and stuff because before I really dove into chat marketing, I was really into live streaming and I had like my signature course was Facebook Live and um, I was an early adapter. I mean, I've, I've been on Meerkat, Periscope, you know, Google Hangouts way before they were any, like anyone was using them. And um, I think my first live broadcast was back in like 2009 or 2010 okay. or wow. something like that, like crazy. So I probably would be doing more in that space. And I would also still be doing a lot with email marketing because that was kind of something I was really specialized in. But who knows, like, the world has changed so much and digital marketing has changed so much. So who knows where I'd be? Yeah. We said I would definitely adapt. Like I, I don't think I would be lost in the world, but it would be different and probably not as fun. So <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. We wouldn't get, well, we may get the 80s theme videos, but they wouldn't be chatbot themed. Videos. I'd still be jamming to some journey. It's That's okay. True. Nice. I like it. Uh, talking about like, you know, how you do adapt and how you've evolved, how much of, your success and your name and, you know, you mentioned that people, you outrank many chat and a number of these other things. How much of your success has come down to your hard work and some of it just 
pure luck and being in the right place at the right time. Uh, I think a lot of anything that anyone does is, is connected to luck at first, for sure. So it's about being in the right place in the right time. You know, I was an early, like, because I've been in the industry for so long, I was an early adapter to a lot of things. And it was almost this way with, with, um, messenger marketing where it was like, I was too early and this has happened a couple of times too early. And then I give up too soon. Cause I'm like, ah, it's not going, you know, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and that almost happened here. So I think timing was just perfect, but I definitely think my hard work and my adaptability has helped me to really find success in this field because I produce an insane amount of content like not even just my youtube channel i just launched another youtube channel i run two facebook groups i still run my business i homeschool my kids like it's bananas and people often ask me like how do you do it all and i'm like i have no clue like don't ask i don't know but i think that certain um personalities like mine are just high producing high energy people and we can't help ourselves, but just if we're excited, like I get excited about this topic. So I want to invest that time. If I'm not excited about it, I'm not going to invest in it. Mm. And I think people um, see results from that when they can see that the person on the other end is actually excited about what they're teaching. Yeah. It makes right? a difference. Yeah. For sure. Tell us about um, your courses, by the way, and where people can um, can find them and find you. So uh, you can find me everywhere at Stellar 24-7. So it's like Facebook, YouTube. My YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash Stellar 24-7 everywhere. You can also look up Baby Got Bot. My uh, website is Stellar247.com and there's links for everything there. Um, I actually need to update my website to, con I was just thinking about this. I need to connect all my courses, but you go to Stellar247.thinkific.com to get to my courses. But the free course, is actually something you have to go to my Facebook group to get access to. So that's Baby Got Bot on Facebook. Baby Got Bot. I love it. It's yep. probably the best Facebook group, mate. I love it when I'm trying to search uh, some resources and which groups I'm going to go into. <laughs> And I literally have to type out baby got bot to get to yes, your Facebook I love it. it. It's memorable. I get people remember the name and they remember my mm. backdrop, which is really funny because people are always commenting. I have, because this is an odd audio yeah. thing, y'all are like, huh, what? Can't see Kelly. Um, it's a nebula because my company is Stellar Media Marketing. And at first I was like, I got to change my background because this is supposed to be 80s and I need neon. And I got so many compliments on my backdrop that I was like, I'm going to keep it. That's how I'm going to tie it all together. <laughs> I think and it ties in with the 80s yeah um, people really bit. love it yeah i love it and, and the group's got over five thousand members now um as yeah well. we're so growing you're in there i'm really picky about who i let in um because i really i love my members so much i respect them i hate myself i, I like really practice the golden rule so i hate going into a group where they just let everyone in and it's like all spammy and so um i ask three questions when you come in they're really simple questions it's stuff like what level are you how'd you hear about the group and do you want to join my email list if you do give me your email. If not, don't worry about it. And if you don't answer the questions, I don't let you in. So I get a lot of people that I just turn away. I just like, I don't, I'm not here. I have a saying, I actually have a t-shirt on my swag shop even, <laughs> but the numbers don't matter if the people don't care. So I'm really not into like growing lists just for the number. I really want to have quality people who want to learn. And we've really built, and I say we, because the community itself is amazing. Like I don't have to answer all the questions. The community really picks up and uh, takes where I drop off, you know? So I am very active in there. But the community is amazing and I really love every one of my members. They're the best groups. And, and that's something I've found about the chat marketing space is that when people have questions, no matter which group it is, it's people a are really, really tight-knit community um, mm -hmm. as well. And some of the experts, you know, we've been chatting to on a podcast as well, are, are quite open with the information and the tips Absolutely. and results that, that they get for people as well. It's a great community. Yeah. Is there anything that I haven't asked you um, yet? Do you think people will get and find some value? Um, I think that, uh, you know, the, the people who watch this and they're like, well, I don't know. It seems really hard or complicated. I'm like, just get into it and don't get overwhelmed because like I said, there's been so many advances, but just because there's all these bells and whistles doesn't mean you have to use everything. It's There are so many use cases for chat marketing and so many different industries and so many different types of chatbots that that's why many chat keeps adding them. It doesn't mean that you have to use them. So get in there, play around. I started myself uh, building games and quizzes 
courses. And that's where I learned a lot is, you know, you could take a course, you can watch all the YouTube videos in the world, but you're not going to learn anything until you get in there and start building. So start building. You don't have to build for a client to build. Like I said, go build a quiz, go build a game, have some fun with it, bring a lot of personality and you'll pick up those pieces and then it'll be easier to sell it too, because you'll know what's possible. And once you know what's possible, you hear those problems and it's like, bing, 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 there's a chat bot for that, you know? Mm. So just get in there, just start somewhere. I love that. That's a great tip and a great place to finish today's chat. Thank you so much for jumping on board for our first couple of episodes of the Chat Marketing Podcast. Yay. Very exciting to bring some experts to the world of the podcasting land. One more time, where can people find you? Um, we'll put all the links in the show notes as well. Yep. Everywhere at Stellar 24-7. So pretty much every social network, unless I'm ignoring it, which is possible, at S-T-E-L-L-A-R-247. Lovely. Thank you so much, Kelly. Thank you. All right, I hope you enjoyed that chat with Kelly Noble Mirabella. She brings a lot of energy and I had a lot of fun. So thanks once again. We've got some amazing interviews lined up already and our first three episodes have dropped. So if you haven't already, make sure you head over there and listen to those now. And don't forget to register for ManyChat's official conference, Conversations 2020. It's coming up on November 6th to 8th. The completely virtual event is going to be amazing. And I've got your 10% off your ticket if you haven't got one yet. So head over to conversationsconference.com and enter the code CHATPOD. That's C-H-A-T-P-O-D. All right, don't forget to review and subscribe to the podcast because we have some awesome guests coming up and I can't wait for you to hear from them. Until then, have a great day and I'll be chatting with you soon.